Welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Well, President Zelensky is standing strong in Kiev, rallying his troops, showing his face in public, saying, here I am. I'm not leaving. I haven't left our country and left the fighting to my people. I am standing with you. In the meantime, the leader of the free world, Sleepy Joe Biden, has called a lid on it and is at his bunker in Wilmington, Delaware, sleeping in, watching TV, eating ice cream for his, from his exhaustive week this week. Kid you not. That's the difference between a true leader and an installed puppet. That's my opinion. Secondly, if and when Russia takes Ukraine, and they will, we are going to be forced into making a very, very tough choice. And here's how it is. He's going to control the natural gas and all the resources that comes with Ukraine. Oil, propane, natural gas that supplies Europe with fuel and heat. Putin could say, hey, Germany, you want to be nice and toasty and be able to cook and eat and everything else? Or do you want to freeze to death this winter and starve because we're shutting off? everything you use to heat and drive around. And I would go for the rest of Europe as well. If you don't want that to happen, Baltic states, France, England, and all the other places, guess what? You lift the sanctions. Nord Stream 2 proceeds unabated, and, and we take back what is we consider ours. All the NATO countries, Poland, Romania, Lithuania, Estonia, we take them. You don't interfere and we'll keep you supplied in fuel. Now under Article 5, attack on one is attack on all and we are obligated under treaty to respond. What choice do you have there? Sleepy Joe hasn't even thought that far ahead, I would bet. He's busy giving all our documents, all our videos, all our information to China to plead with them to talk to Russia not to continue with the war. And the Chinese gave him all the information we have so Russia knows exactly how we took those pictures and documented evidence, when, where, and gave it all to them so Russia knows exactly how we gather our intelligence. That's how stupid this Defense Department is and the State Department. These are the bungling fools we are. And now Putin is ready to say, checkmate. Does NATO go to war for itself and we stay out of it? We can't. We just ship 7,000 more troops over there to Poland and beefing up that area. What are we going to do if that ultimatum is made? Sleepy Joe you better step up and make a statement. I did a video showing, saying this is going to happen when we start seeing burning buildings and crying and weeping and wailing of women and children being injured and everything else like that. And that's coming out. And now we are hearing from people in the United States, we've got to do something. We've got to send our boys in. We've got to create a no-fly zone. And if we create a no-fly zone, somebody's going to have to, you know, enforce that. And that'll either be NATO and the United States, or just the United States will put us in direct confrontation with Russia. Is that what we really want? Really? The United States is good people. We stand up against bullying and evil, and we want to do right by them. But be careful we don't get sucked into World War III. And that's exactly what would happen. You don't see France or Germany or anybody else sending troops. None of that. And it's right on their back door. You don't see that happening. So until these, until these countries in Europe want to stand up for themselves and believe that Russia is going to blackmail them into submission, we stay the hell away from them. We supply food, arms, comfort, 
whatever it is, but don't you dare believe for one minute that this idiot administration won't send our children into harm's way or get us into conflict. And don't think for one minute Putin won't resort to sabotage. You already see that happening in Ukraine. They shot 50 Russian saboteurs dressed as policemen attempting to wreak havoc in the, in the capital by taking down the internet and all the other infrastructures. You don't think that won't happen here? We have open borders. I would bet everything that we already have the saboteurs here. They're already in place and they're just waiting a word from Putin. And you'll see lights out here or something of similar results, consequences. Sleepy Joe hasn't thought past the tip of his nose. And his stupid administration doesn't even know what they're doing. They see their own shadow and start talking to it. I don't know what to tell you folks other than pray, get ready, keep preparing, share your knowledge with others. Don't keep it for yourself. Share your knowledge with others who may not be informed. If you say, well, they're not paying attention, then it's on them. But if they do show interest, don't be harsh. I'm saying, let's get you, let me help you get started. If you want my help, if you want my help, if you don't, I'll mind my own business. Do not come knocking on my door. And that's what some people will do. Now, you've been warned and you've been told is my motto. If you want help, ask for it. I'll be glad to help, but I will not stick my nose into your business. Do share the word of the gospel. Share it with others. Time is important. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you very much for your generous comments. I really do appreciate you. Please continue to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share this channel. I really do thank you. Get yourself right with God. Get baptized. Greg out.